All right, so half the battle's done. I've made it to the base of the mountain that I'm going to climb up and over to get to where I want to go. I'm probably going to put my camera away. It's a pretty nasty scramble. I might try to check in about halfway up, definitely at the top, so we'll see you guys in a minute. Just incredible up here. I've walked all the upper basin and all the, the, the basin behind me that you can't see. Uh, nobody here. I'm going to get a cup of coffee cooking. Super tired. That was an exhausting hike over that pass. It only took me two hours and 45 minutes from truck to camp. That's not too bad. It was just, uh, it was brutal, but it's a lot better than walking in the eight miles from the trailhead. I think so. But anyways, coffee, then I'm going to go explore and probably start fishing here pretty soon. Last time I was here, catch rate was nearly every cast in the lake right behind me. And there's another lake about 150 yards this way that uh, was producing large brook trout. Uh, you know, bigger than average for the area. So, oh yeah. Whew. Perfect. The sun has been pretty much behind the clouds all day, which is nice. Okay, so a little update. Uh, as I was drinking my coffee, I took a little walk. It looks like there's a couple of horse campers, probably two of them together, a couple hundred yards down the meadow away from me. And uh, outside of that, we should be the only people up here. So that's pretty cool. It'll be quiet. And right now, I'm gonna take a 10 or 15 minute hike to uh, one of my favorite little ponds up here to fish. Okay, so I'm at my little pond. The fish are definitely active. Uh, I went against what I wanted to throw, which was a streamer, because I've been just on this streamer kick recently, but the stimulator pattern was working really well for my girlfriend a couple weeks ago. Though we were on the other side of the winners, I'm gonna try it up here and see what happens. So, here we go. So I gave that stimulator about 10 minutes and I'm giving up on it already. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm literally sight casting right to them and they're not taking it, so uh, a pink scud has been working for me quite a bit recently. We're going to try this. Bingo. Good fish. Beautiful little brook trout. Good fish. Yeah. Beautiful brook trout. All right, had a great time fishing. I was down there for about an hour, pulled in four fish. And missed, uh, you know, a few strikes. So, clouds are coming in again and my vestibule's open. So I'm gonna get back to camp, have a snack, get ready for rain if that's what's gonna happen and go from there.
one of those horses that I told you guys also about uh, got loose. It's, uh, I don't know how far away it is from me, but I can hear it over there uh, snorting and, and, and trotting along. Kind of scared me at first, then I was like, nah, it's definitely a horse. So, I imagine I'll have some company trying to round that thing up here soon. So. Finally, I was in the tent almost three hours, and it's finally, uh, the weather's finally cleared. It's not raining, there's a little bit of sun back there, so we're good. I've got about a half an hour of window of fishing that I'm gonna take advantage of. They seem to be after some small dry, so I put on a small dry, and I'm uh, gonna fish a little bit before getting a fire going and dinner. Small brook trout. Take it. Beautiful little fish. Back at camp, I have no idea what time it is, but I'm starving, so I've got a couple cups of water boiling. Just uh, quick and easy tonight. I've got a chili mac and beef from Mountain House. And uh, I haven't started a fire. I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to have dinner, have my uh, Reese's for dessert, and yeah. Uh, Hit the tent and watch a movie and we'll hit it hard tomorrow. It's been a long day. That hike up and over the pass is exhausting. My knees are hurting a little bit. So, dinner, bed. We'll see you guys in the morning and we're going to have an awesome day tomorrow. Good morning. Beautiful morning out today. Uh, I slept until 6 and then I woke up. Kind of forced myself back to sleep around 7. Uh, it's about 7.30 now and I'm up out of the tent. Just made a cup of coffee. I'm going to hike around the meadow. Just take a little walk while I drink my coffee. Then I'm going to have my oatmeal. And then I'm gonna take a day hike. I'm gonna go see a little cave area, some waterfalls, um, hike up to the upper lake and fish, and then I'll kind of go from there. So, should be a good day. Alright, so there's not a whole lot of activity in the water behind me, but this was just so pretty not to stop and fish for a minute. The creek is running down back here, I can hear that, and the view is just incredible. So, we're going to fish it for a minute and see what happens before moving on. strikes. There we go. Bingo. I love that pink scud. Pretty little brook trout. I just walked from the other side of the little bay here. I just want one more fish out of here before moving that way. Only going to give it a few minutes though. They're really pretty over here, good size.
That one came pretty quick. A few more minutes. Then we'll move on. One feels a little bigger. Oh yeah, good fish. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> Look at that guy. was awesome okay so I am moving on it's hard to move on when the fishing is so good but uh, I've still got a lot I want to see and before I know it I'm gonna pass the whole day away fishing that little hole so on to see some new things and uh, fish some other water it's a pretty cool little overhanging cave area there's a few of them some are bigger than others Looks like this is the bigger one right here. <sighs> Beautiful. This is so amazing right here. There's at least a dozen waterfalls behind the camera and then two or three more behind me coming off the cliff. Uh, incredible. I'm gonna spend a few minutes here, have a little snack and then uh, start hiking up to that upper lake that I wanna fish. So, awesome time. That's the saddle I gotta hike up and over tomorrow to get back to my truck. Well, I've been up here fishing for at least an hour, maybe even an hour and a half. I've had a couple little bites. I haven't landed anything. I thought fishing was going to be much better. I know there's some decent sized tiger trout in here. I just haven't been able to find them. So I'm probably going to give it one last try and then hike back down closer to camp. Win some, you lose some. couple cool things. I got a good little 10 minute nap in the hammock back there. The two guys on the horses, uh, they packed up and left. I've walked the entire upper basin and I'm pretty confident I'm the only one left up in here. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's getting really cloudy. I can't really tell yet if it's going to dump on me or not. I sure hope not. I don't want to go through that again, but I'm going to take advantage of a little bit of this sunlight and go fish. Here we go. Got it on the cast. <laughs>
Good fish. So there's a whole bunch of fish out here. I can see at least 20 of them. Some are big, some are small. I'm gonna try and sight cast this little pink midge out to them and see if I can't hook into one or two more. Uh, and then I might need to head back to camp. It's getting pretty ugly out. Maybe it'll blow over though. First cast. <laughs> awesome little brook trout. I got time for another one. <laughs> Woo! Beautiful fish. Yeah! That has got some bite. Whew, it's uh, about three, maybe a little after. I just got back in my tent from an awesome afternoon of fishing. Caught a caught a lot of fish. Really good size fish too. Uh, a whole handful of them was, you know, in the 10 to 14 inch range. So I hope I'm not done. It started to sprinkle and uh, I'm gonna give it maybe 20 or 30 minutes in my tent and see if these clouds are gonna blow over. And then I'll get back out and probably kind of get ready for the night, get my evening fishing in and uh, Hopefully it doesn't rain because I got some firewood over there that I'd like to sit by a fire for a little bit, but we'll see. Austria. Austria. <laughs> I love this hang time hook, guys. It makes watching movies so enjoyable. Let's put another shrimp on the barbie. I just put Dumb and Dumber on, but I think the weather's cleared up, but we'll see. I'll give it 10 or 15 more minutes, and if it doesn't start raining again, I'll go outside. Ah, so beautiful. So the rain, uh, it sprinkled for about 45 minutes. Nothing too bad, nothing's too wet. I should have dry firewood. I uh, watched about half a Dumb and Dumber and took a, probably a 10 or 15 minute nap, maybe a longer, but I got a couple more hours of daylight, probably three, which means I'm gonna fish for a couple hours and then get back to camp and start getting things ready for tonight and uh, so I can get out of here in the morning, so. Got to get another fish or two, though. See you on the water. Bam. Jackpot. Another good fish. <laughs> Unbelievable.
That made it easy, it popped off. We'll get back out there. I'm gonna sight cast to one that I see rising right now. Almost out of reach. Oh, that's two. Oh. We'll get him. Jackpot. <laughs> be a good fish. Oh, good fish. He's big. Oh, beautiful. Wow. As much as I don't want to, I might have to change this fly if it doesn't produce a fish here in the next five or 10 minutes. Uh, it's been hammered so many times, it's starting to come apart. I'm devastated, but I think there's one more fish in it. Beautiful fish. <laughs> Back at camp. It's uh gonna start getting dark pretty quick. I did fish the lake behind me, caught a few more. I didn't film it. I've filmed enough fishing. But I've got a small fire going. Uh, we're gonna knock some of the bugs down and uh, just sit by a warm fire for a little bit while I cook some dinner. And we'll be in the tent probably shortly after dark. Planning on hiking up over the mountain pretty early so I can get home. Had an awesome, awesome time. Some of the best fishing I've ever had up in the Hiawinas. Small fire tonight. It probably won't get much bigger than that. Keeping it simple again with a mountain house, breakfast skillet for dinner. Be all right. Oh, this is incredible. All right, it's about 9.30, just getting in my tent, gonna put my headlamp on and read for a little bit, 20 or 30 minutes or so, then probably watch a movie until I fall asleep. It's been an awesome day, awesome trip. Fishing was incredible, some of the best I've ever had. But anyway, gonna wind down, see y'all in the morning. Whew, all right. It's about 7.45, I'm packed up, I've had my coffee, had a little breakfast, and I'm headed for the pass. Shouldn't take me about two and a half, three hours to make it back to my truck. Had an incredible trip, we'll see you guys soon.